Hello class 6, welcome to today's social studies lesson and we are continuing with the topic social relations and cultural activities. We just completed one bit of it, in fact two bits of the subtopic. We completed the family, we've completed the school, now we are remaining with one part and that is the clan. So today we will be discussing the clan system. Make sure you have your book, your exercise book, make sure you have your textbook and your pen ready to copy the notes as you listen to my explanation. So let's start and uh, look at what the subtopic wants us to know. During the introduction part of this topic, I gave you some terms that you have to remember as we continue studying the topic and one term that I gave you was the clan. I explained the meaning of a clan but I'm going to repeat again now in details. What is a clan? A clan is a group of people who share the common ancestor. People who share a common ancestor and ancestors we also call them forefathers. These are our relatives, the relatives that we don't know either they are still alive or some died long ago. You know, for example, the Somali. Somali have got different clans. Um, there, there are so many clans under the Somali. We have the Bilbante, we have got the Hawea, we have the Ogaden, we have the Marahan, and so many other clans. So the people, the people who are under the Gure, or the Ogaden, or the Awea, or the Ajuran, or the Bilbante, all of them, they have got one thing which is common between them. They have got the same forefathers. They have got the same ancestors. Ancestors are our relatives who died long ago. So if you are Hawiye, all the people who are under the Hawiye are your clan members. If you are Ajuran, all the people under Ajran are your relatives because you are under the same clan. What about the Abaluya? Abaluya also have got different clans. We have got um, we have got the Abawanga. We have got Abashithethe. We have got the uh, Maragoli and so many others. So when so you look others. at when you look at different communities, they have got different clans and clans. Clan members are relatives. So clan, a clan is a group of people who have got a common ancestor or they have common forefathers. Now you understand what a clan is. And clan members are relatives. Are we together? Good. A clan is a wider, is something very big. You cannot know all the members of a clan. You can't. Wazy, because there are thousands of them. There are so many people who are under your clan. So we just trace our clan starting from the family. The smallest unit of a clan is the family. That is the smallest. The smallest unit of a clan is the family. And clan members are blood relatives. And we say that they share kinship ties. Clan members share kinship ties. Kinship ties are blood relatives. A person who is related to you by blood. Achana na awa relatives wa kujibandika bandika hata sijui huyu anko yake na anko yangu sijui alikuwa marafiki sasa wewe ni sasa wewe ni relative yangu no we are not talking about that i don't know your uncle and your and my aunt are uh, business partners your uncle and my aunt are business partners so we are relatives that is not the type of relationship i'm talking about i'm talking about people who have got blood relatives your father and my father they have got the same mother good that is now blood relative your grandfather and my grandfather they were from the same uh, great grandfather now that is what we call blood relatives people who share the same womb or people who trace their origin from the same parents that is what i'm talking about so clan members are blood relatives and they share what we call kinship ties most clans trace their clans most communities trace their clans from male ancestors except the agikuyu except the agikuyu so it is only the agikuyu community in kenya who do not trace their clan 
from male ancestors but from the female ancestors and this is because the Agikuyu believe that they originated from the nine daughters of Gikuyu and Mumbi. You will learn more about this when you reach in class 8. Members of the same clan include the father. So these are examples of people who fall under the same clan. Father, daughter, we have got the son, grandfather, uncles and aunts. Mother and grandmother are not part of your clan. You know, in the African setup class, it is not good to marry or to get married to your blood relative. Can you marry your cousin? You can't. But some communities do that. Do that. But it's not advisable. You cannot marry your sister. You cannot get married to your, to your brother. Never. That is a taboo. Impossible. So, if, if you have got your mother... That is not, your mother is uh, a member of your family, but she is not your blood relative. It is the father who is your blood relative. Yes, it is the mother that bore you, no problem. But according to the African setup, we trace our origin from our fathers. That is why, that is why you are called uh, Awir Abdikarim or uh, Sabrin Abdisalam. Your father's name must be accompanied with your name. That is why you are called uh, Sadia Ibrahim. That is why you are called uh, Marian Abdekader. Not Mariam uh, Leila. <laughs> Not Awir uh, Maimuna. Never. You cannot be called with your mother's name because we don't trace our origin using our mother we trace our origin using our father that's why we carry our father's names i hope you are together up to there so your mother is not a member of your clan but she is a member of your family your grandmother is not a member of your clan but she is a member of your family hope you are together a family we said that a family is a group of people who are related by blood, by marriage, or by adoption. Blood, marriage, or adoption. Good. So, mother and grandmother are not part of your clan. And a clan, of course, is headed by a grandfather. Good. Let us now look at some of the functions of a clan. The following are the functions of a clan. Number one, I'm going to go through them very fast. Making rules. To govern a clan that is their first function making rules to govern a clan number two allocating land to members number three solemnizing or officiating marriages that is customary marriages customary marriages are conducted by clan elders so the work of the clan is to officiate or to solemnize marriages then we have settling clan disputes a dispute is a problem. A problem between one member and another member is solved using clan members or the clan elders. Educating the youth, uh, that is um, informal, informal education. It was conducted by the clan members. Guiding the clan, we have facilitating community activities, arbitrating and settling disputes, and lastly, safeguarding core values. So make sure you copy the functions of a clan of clan of a clan and also the other notes about the clan otherwise i don't have much today have a good time <laughs>